Hey there, how do I change the site name and slogan for my Drupal site? Well, let me show you how. So I've logged into the administrative panel or the back end of my Drupal site. Here I am, I've just, just logged in. If I wanna go to the home page, I can just click the home button and there I am, I'm on the front page right now. Um, right now, my site name is just RoboBunny Attack. That's not really doing it for me. So I'd like to change that. How do I go about doing that? Well, let me introduce you to the configuration uh, section. So let's go ahead and click on here. And here's one of the first things I want to point out to you here is in Drupal, okay, the way that it's currently configured, and this is just the default configuration, all your administration options appear in an overlay. Do you see that? Do you see how this is sort of a, here I'll close this, and to close the overlay you just click the the uh, um, X button over here, so I'll click that. If I click on this, watch what happens. See everything, the screen dims, and then your panel shows up in an overlay on top of your site, okay? That actually took me a little bit of getting used to when I first started using uh, Drupal. There are different ways to configure this. You don't have to have it happen that way, but that's the default behavior. So here's my configuration section, and this is a this is a section where you can do a whole bunch of things. This is where you will go to input settings for different functional components of Drupal. And what, what do I mean by functional components? Well, this is sort of just the, the generic sort of, you know, uh, stuff like changing your site name and slogan, changing what the default front page is for your site. They, really basic stuff like setting your site's default time zone and country, um, and then, you know, or maybe taking your site offline if you wanna have, you know, set up kind of have it in maintenance mode, bringing it back online when you want to get out of maintenance mode, um, and then also managing an automatic site maintenance task. And I'll, I'll talk in a different screencast about w what that means and introduce to you this whole concept of cron. Um, but for now, let's just start with a really simple task, which is how do we change the site name and slogan? And so what we're going to do for this is, I mean, there's a lot to read through here, but I'll, I'll save you some time. Under site information, we're going to see what it says right here. Change site name, email address. Okay, this looks like the section we want, so let's go ahead and click on it. And this brings us to a new page, and here we see the site details. So first thing right here, site name. We have a little red asterisk saying, you can't leave this blank, you need something here. So um, let's give this site a name, and what shall we call this site? How about... Um, um, <laughs> I don't know what to call it now. The home of Robo Bunny attack. Um, and then I need. A, I'm gonna put a little slogan here where fun things happen. Yay! I don't know. I might. I might change my mind about this site name and slogan. But here, I, I'm. There we go. I've changed this. And uh, what else do we do? Email address. Okay, this you probably don't want to change this because this is your site email address. Um, this is basically where any automated emails that might get sent during registration, or let's say you need to request a new password or something, it will be sent to you from this email address. And let me give you a hint. This email address should have the same domain as your site. So see here it says info at robobunnyattack.com and my site is actually at robobunnyattack.com, that domain. You want that address to be the same. If it's not, bad things can happen. And what I mean by that is it might not work. So don't go changing this to your Gmail address, okay? If you want to change your personal you know, address, uh, you're, you, there's a different place to do that and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a different screencast. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff here. We're gonna ignore that for now. We'll come back to this, but for now, let's just click the save configuration button here and uh, you get a nice, uh, Drupal's really good at giving you information and communicating back to you and saying hey, whether or not it actually did the job that you wanted it to do. And in this case, we get that green check mark, yay! And it says the configuration options have been saved. So let's close this overlay and automatically the site reloads and there we go. Our site title has changed to the home of Robo Bunny Attack, and there's a little slogan where fun things happen. And look at this, actually a home, but this actually changed it everywhere. It's welcome to the home of Robo Bunny Attack, and then you even see up here within uh, the uh, the bar up here it says welcome to the home of Robo Bunny Attack. So this changes your site name site wide on every single page, any any page, any location where your site name is going to appear, it changes it. So that's very cool. It was a lot easier than you changing it manually on a thousand different pages. So there we go. 
we were able to change our site name and slogan. And of course, you'll probably come up with a much better site name and slogan than I did. Um, but there you go. Have fun with that. So I hope that that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.